Hey, I'm Scott Widener. Uh, I've been a long time SawStop user, and this is gonna be just a quick video on SawStop's table insert for their SawStop table saw. Uh, they send it just like this, and it comes, looks just like this with a set of instructions to it, and shows you clearly how to do it, but we're gonna actually put it to video today so that you can get a good idea of what it looks like. And we're just gonna cut this and show you how to get everything set up so you can cut uh, nice dados on your saw stop tables. All right, real quick, I'm gonna go over the few pieces that you're gonna to need to accomplish uh, cutting your new uh, dado insert for your saw stop. Uh, first, you're gonna actually need the actual insert that's gonna look just like this, which has no hole cut in it, which is what we're doing today. You're going to need the saw stop eight inch dado break that you can order either off Amazon or directly from saw stop, and it would look just like this. And lastly, you are going to need whatever dado stack that you are going to use. Uh, just remember that SawStop only recommends using an 8-inch dado stack and up to 13 sixteenths of an inch, inch in width. Uh, and also, too, you can either call their customer service or you can look on SawStop's website and they will give you all of the approved different manufacturers for what dado stack will actually work in a SawStop. So make sure you get a stack that's actually going to work on a SawStop table saw. A couple more pieces you're going to need to accomplish your task today. These come with your saw stop table saw when you order it. If you don't have them, I would suggest getting them. Uh, you're going to need both of your wrenches to take out your uh, current blade that's in your saw stop saw so you can put in your dado stack. Uh, you're going to need your adjustment gauge or you can use a uh, nickel, which is the same width as what this is, to check your spacing. And then this, lastly, this is just an Allen wrench for the adjustment tool that you can adjust the spacing on the brake to make sure you get it right. Uh, a couple of other pieces just to make your life easier. Uh, you're gonna need a tape measure, a three millimeter Allen wrench to adjust the uh, new insert to make sure it's flush in your saw. And just to make my life easier and a tool I like is you're just gonna need a simple square that you can uh, make a couple quick measurements. All right, now that we went over the tools, I gathered everything here and we're getting ready to work on the saw itself so we can get ready to cut this. So I, once I've got everything gathered, the first thing I'm gonna make sure that I've got my saw unplugged and it's off and I've done that. So we have no power to the machine at all. We're gonna pull this insert out. We're gonna throw in the right brake, our dado blades, the right insert, and we're ready to cut this. Go. All right, I've got my eight inch brake in here. I've got my key inserted here in the back. I've got my three quarter inch dado blade uh, installed here. I've got my nut on. And as you notice here, I'm not using the um, the washer that comes with it. Uh, Saw Stop says as long as you have a blade that's over an eighth of an inch thick, you don't need that. So I've got all this ready to go uh, so we can start to cut this insert. Uh, just worth mentioning to make sure you have your riving knife piece down even though that is not in there. And then just real quick, I'm gonna check the spacing and I will spin my blade to make sure that we're not touching back here or it's barely touching. You can either use a, uh, a nickel or you can use the spacing tool that comes with it. And we have the right spacing there and everything's good to go. The other thing worth mentioning is these blades on your um, dado stack. You wanna make sure that the carbide teeth are staggered and not touching each other. So we're gonna snug this thing down and we're gonna go ahead and cut our insert. All right, now we're to the step where my uh, little three millimeter Allen wrench comes in. You wanna set your new insert blade in here. You wanna make sure that it is just the tiniest bit below your table saw so you don't snag it when you're running uh, the piece that you're gonna use your dado on. So once you put it in there, it's got four set screws, two in the back and two in the front that we are actually going to use to uh, raise or lower this. So I've already got it set so it is just the tiniest bit below my surface and it's even on all four sides. So we're gonna go through a couple safety features and then we're gonna cut this. All right, so up until this point, we've had our saw unplugged. So we're gonna get our safety stuff ready and we're gonna be ready to cut this. So I'm gonna make sure I have on my eye protection and I'm gonna put on my hearing protection. Plug in my saw in and power it on, we're ready to cut. Okay, last two steps here before we actually turn the saw on. Uh, you can either go ahead and 
clamp down a two by four across the edge of this to help keep this in certain place while you cut it. I'm actually just gonna move this fence over just on the edge of that there, just touching those two uh, set screws that I have in that insert, and I'm gonna lock this down. That way when I raise that blade up, I'm gonna, it's not going to be anywhere near hitting this fence, but then the fence is also working to help keep this insert just in place as we cut this insert. Now I'm gonna move down here and show you this piece. I'm actually gonna raise the blade as I do this. So once I kick the saw on, I'm actually gonna raise this blade about every 10 seconds and just slowly raise up that blade until I have it about an inch and a half up and out of the top of the saw. So we're gonna put this in time lapse for you so you don't have to watch how painfully slow that this goes. And I'll see you in just a few seconds. All right, so we've got our insert cut. Uh, we've got the saw unplugged and we're pretty much done here with making our cuts. Once I run my uh, square up here, we ended up just a tiny bit over an inch and a half, which is fine. When you're, and I'm cutting dados, I don't know that I've ever cut a dado that's inch and a half high, but I wanted to cut it that, that height just to make sure I had plenty of clearance in case I needed it. I believe that this dado stack can actually come like two inches out of the table top. Um, but I'll, again, I'll never need it that high, so we went with an inch and a half. So we're in pretty good shape there. One thing I did fail to mention though during the video was before I started, I did raise this stack up so I knew roughly where this was gonna be and I made myself a little mark on there. So as I was raising my blade, I already had a little mark on the front. I did fail to mention that, but still you can stop at any point during the process, turn your saw off and unplug it and see where your measurement's at. Then you can plug it back in and just start again. Or you can do like I did and put that little line on there. Hey guys, thanks for watching my video. I'm not a professional woodworker. I'm just a DIY weekend warrior. Uh, like being safe, like having a saw stop so I don't lose any fingers if I do happen to make a rookie mistake. Um, I couldn't find a good video on cutting this insert. I know it's not rocket science, but I learn by seeing things. Um, so I just wanted to make a good video that you could see on how I cut my inserts so that you'd have a good idea on how to use it. I hope this helps you out there. I hope it was informative. Um, again, my name is Scott Widener and thanks for watching this video.